It means a lot to me, this picture, because it's so honest, it's so real, it's so very much amazing thing that nobody knows. I mean, nobody knows. All they know is they see Mary Poppins, oh yes, it's a lovely family film and everybody loves it. But how we got that film was anything but a family film. <laughs> What were you thinking about the film and the music? It's, you know, it's an interesting one because it has music. Obviously, the, the music that Richard and his brother wrote, that it's the kind of the origin story, not only of Mary Poppins, the tragic origin story, but also the origin story of the movie Mary Poppins. Um, and, and so instead of uh, just playing the music from the movie, you actually get to see some of the inspiration for it. You get to see the Sherman Brothers at the piano. Um, so there's that element of it which is really, really fun. There's also a very dramatic side to the movie. And so marrying those in themes that carry over, um, both photographically and musically, was um, a good challenge. It's, the discussions were fantastic about this, and I'd never had this experience before. We had actually tempted with Tom's music, and, and it was working, and Tom saw it, and we had conversations about it. And then he, he called and said, what if we re-tempt this, just so we can have a discussion? And, and he would come in, you know, he would come in and they would re-temp a scene and say, instead of playing her perspective, here is something that plays his perspective, and it gives way to conversation. And, I, and to put that amount of work in um, w was pretty incredible, and I thought it was very helpful. How do you define Walt Disney musically? The, I guess John and I talked in, uh, about uh, kind of a Huck Finn aspect to Walt. You know, what, what, what was Walt musically? It was kind of tough because the first time we meet Walt, there was kind of required to, uh, to have a musical cue. And it was, you know, there's Tom Hanks, you know, playing Walt Disney. And, you know, what's the music supposed to be? So I guess just one of excitement and so, some kind of Americanism. We're all on a first name basis here. <laughs> well. Here you are, at last. Oh, my dear gal, you can't imagine how excited I am to finally meet you. <laughs> but it's an honor. <laughs> oh, Walt, man, you gotta call me Walt. Mr. Dizzy was my old man, isn't that right, Doc? Absolutely, Walt. How did the whole original Mary Poppins story start? You know, it's not me. It's, it's, there was a team. There was an incredible team that was formed by Walt Disney, who was the captain of the team. And there was a wonderful guy by the name of Don DeGrati. Don DeGrati was an artist who had been at the studio for something like 25 years when we got there. Mm -hmm. And he was a very seasoned member of, of Walt Disney's creative team. They would uh, visualize with, with sketches what, what the writers would be writing about. And sometimes while the discussions were being made, this sketch artist would come up and come up with these wonderful, wonderful ways to tell the story visually. And so Walt put us with Don DeGrati right in the very beginning when we first uh, were given that book. And basically, we didn't really have a, a storyline at all to work with because Mrs. Travers wrote episodes. She wrote wonderful adventures with this incredible lady, this nanny, this wonderful nanny Mary Poppins. But there was no problem in her books at all. There was no storyline, and we had to invent something. So we, we cobbled together an idea with six chapters of the books. And uh, those six chapters became kind of like the, the nucleus of what Mary Poppins was. And when her, Walt heard it, I'm going to make this very brief, he put us under contract. That's when he put us on contract as his staff writers. And that's how we got involved with the story. Here we go. Room here for everyone. Gather around. Constable's responsible. How does that sound? No, 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 no. Responsible is not a word. We made it up. Well, unmake it up. How weird is it to watch somebody play you? Well, I tell you something. It, it's in the hands of masters. It's a very joyous experience. I. It was weird. Of course it was weird to see them and being getting insulted by Mrs. Travers. <laughs> uh, but basically, uh, it, it's so beautifully told, it's so honestly told. And Mrs. Travers was a very complicated woman. You're going to understand her, and uh, 
you'll see a lot in this movie, but the one thing that the humanity of it all is there, and that was important. I don't know, I felt very moved by it. I, I saw my brother and I, it meant so much to us to do this film. It meant so much to Walt. It meant so much to Don DeGrotti. All these people, we, we knew that we had something special. I mean, I never dreamed that 50 years later I'd still be talking about Mary Poppins, but here it is 50 years later. And we knew it in our gut. We knew that we had something special. And we had to tell this story. And if she said no, it would just, it would just die. It would be the end of it. So the earnestness was there. And I think that was captured by our wonderful director and by our actors and by our composer. Everybody that worked on this film poured themselves into it. Thank you.